Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm the creative blogger and digital artist for Life is Messy and Brilliant. Today, I'm going to show you how to download some printables from my blog and how to use them on a digital planner. All right, so when you go to my website, I'm currently using Google Chrome, you can find the printables by going to the free printable section, pull the journal printables. I have them classified by weekly spreads, um, trackers, mood trackers, school printables, and self-care printables. Another way to download the printables is by scrolling to the bottom and you will see them right here. So let's try the weekly spread bullet journals. I'm gonna talk to the website. When you scroll down, you will see a little introduction of the printable. Right here, I added a quick table of contents where you can jump to a specific printable. If you script calling down, you will see my shop collection. You can buy all my printables from my shop. If you click on the printable, it will take you to my shop. Right here, I have the collection. It's every single printable that you find on my website, monthly and weekly. Hi, just go back to my blog. If you script crawling down, I have a quick introduction of how to download the printables. And as you scroll down, you will see all the um, weekly spreads. So these are just the preview images. And at the bottom of the preview images, you will see a quick thing that says click here to learn more about these printables. And then let's click on one. We're going to click this one. Click the quick add. And that's going to take you to this weekly spread. All my printables are have their own blog posts. I create them throughout the year and that's the reason. For my weekly spreads, I create a Sunday start and a Monday start of the week. So I'm going to choose the Sunday start. You're going to click here. And that's going to open the printable right here. The calendars are all have been updated to the new year. That at the time of this video, it's 2022. So every year I update the print the calendars. All right, so to save the printable to your iPad, at the bottom of Google Chrome, you're gonna see an open in. I'm gonna click that one, wait for it, and then it's going to bring all the options. Let's save it to files. And I'm going to save my in downloads. Click save. Now, if you are in Safari, you're going, to the same, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go to my printables. Let's go to the trackers this time. You're going to scroll down. You will see a quick introduction of the printable. Um, a summary where you can buy my printables. An introduction or a, a quick uh, instructions of how to download the printables. And as you scroll down, you will see a preview image of all the printables. These are all the trackers that I have created. So let's choose one. I think I'm going to use this one. All right, press the link to go directly to that printables page or keep your finger on the link to get more options. Choose open in background to open the printables in a new tab. I suggest you do it this way. Yeah, that way you can keep scrolling and opening new tabs. I want to this one. I want to scroll down. Let's save the horizontal. Here's the vertical version. I think I'm going to use the vertical. Here is a printable. You're going to click the little pointing upwards arrow and we're going to select save to files and I'm going to save on downloads, save. All right. If you go to your files, these are, this is the weekly spread we downloaded. And this is the, when did I last printable that we did, that we downloaded. All right. Here is how you use them on a digital planner. If you purchase any of my editable planners, you're going to get a PDF file and a Keynote file. You're going to go to the Keynote file, select the iPad version, and depending on which month you're working on, I'm going to choose January to June. 
wait for it to open. All right, now that the planner finished downloading, this is how it's going to look in Kino. We're going to select edit. In edit, you're going to be able to see all the pages of the planner and you're also going to be able to edit them. You can move things around and you can um, add new images, change the format, change the text. You can also change all the links in the planner. I will talk about it in a separate video and I'll make sure to link it in the description box. Now, let's choose a page for our printables. So I'm going to go to January and let's click on the first one and go to the slide. From the bottom of the screen, gently lift your finger upwards and press on the Files tab. Drag it towards the side of the screen. This will bring the downloads um, section of the Files app. To add the printable, you're going to gently press on it and drag it into the Keynote Canvas. This is how the printable looks. You're going to use the blue dots to resize it and make sure it fits the page. And we're going to, now we're going to go to the next one. You're going to gently press on the printable and drag it into the Keynote app. Here is the printable. I'm going to use the blue dots to resize it and make sure it fits the page. You can either put it in the center of the page or put it to the side. That way you can use this section to either draw something. Oops. or to add text or more photos. I'm going to add a new, maybe a new image, maybe a new folder, I mean, maybe a shape. I'm going to add a box. Put it like this. Go to the paintbrush. Let's fill it. Fill it out as white and use a quick shadow. I close this, I accidentally went to the next page. There we go. Click here. You're gonna select the paintbrush. Paint, oh, you're gonna select the paintbrush and you're going to select a new font for that. Text. I think I'm going to keep it on that one. Go back, increase the size. And then I'm going to add a background that text. There we go. Keep your finger on it and then select the image. That way you can move both of them at the same time. That's it. There we go. For the printables that have multiple pages, um, the ones that you drag over to Keynote, it's always going to be the first page. This is how we're going to change them. Let's say we're going to add the month of May. You're going to drag it all the way to the top. And once you're on the top, you can drag it over towards Kino. And there we go. You're going to repeat the same steps for any printables that have multiple pages. Another way to use the printables is in the GoodNotes app. 
let's go to the good news app right now i'm using one of my academic planners this is the spring edition and i also have a summer and a fall edition you may go to my shop and check it out let's go to one of the months to jump to different links in the planner you're going to select the pen with a dash I'm going to go to january and i'm going to put a printable in one of these empty links let's choose the first one all right so let's go to the files app and we're going to start with one of the printables we're going to start with this one you're going to press the power button and the volume up button at the same time this will take a screenshot of the printable use the little edges to choose the part of the printable that you want and then we're going to select done save the photos and we're going to repeat the same step with the other printable this time we're going to flip a vertical and we're going to press the volume button and the power button I'm going to do that at the same time this will bring the a screenshot window we're going to use the edges to select the part of the printable that we want and select done all right now let's go back to good notes and um, put a print planner like this make sure i'm in focus to bring that toolbar menu you're going to select the pen again and this time i'm going to choose a picture let's choose the first one Use the arrow at the bottom to resize it or to rotate it. Okay, if you, there is a part of the printable that may be taking too much space or you feel like you need to crop a little bit more, click on the image and select crop. This will bring the menu, the crop option and you can select done all right perfect let's try it with the next printable let's go to the next page let's choose the next one and then use the arrow to fill the screen actually i'm going to put it on the side and show you how we created that extra um table of contents on the side of the screen i don't know how to say it we're going to select the shapes and let's create the rectangle i feel like it's a little bit easier to plan or edit in the keynote app on like good notes there we go i'm going to delete the little piece that i just looks bigger Okay, let's bring the text. Okay, and then right here, I can choose the background, just like in Keynote. Oops. I'm gonna choose a similar font. There it is. Oh, didn't realize I had to highlight it. Okay. And we can also write just like I did in the other one. Oops, that looks bad. There we go. Or you can use a table. I honestly prefer to head it in Keynote. I feel like it's a little bit easier with the 
shapes and being able to handle the text and some other things. The only main difference in the printables between GoodNotes and Keynote is the quality of the printables when you zoom in. You may notice that in GoodNotes, the quality drops a little bit since we had to take a picture. While in Keynote, the quality of the printable is preserved. And just in case you're wondering, um, yes, you can draw on the PDF printable in Keynote and even in GoodNotes. There we go. Um, another way to add the printable in GoodNotes, it's by inserting it, be inserting it between the pages. This is how you're going to do it. So you're going to select the plus button here and you're going to select import. We're going to select one of the pages. I'm going to select this one. And there we go. It's inserted between the pages, but it selects all of them. If it's one of those printables that are from January to December, you can click here and go to those specific pages and delete the ones that you don't need. This will only happen in the ones that are um, yearly. You won't have this problem with the other ones. There we go. And if you zoom in, the quality doesn't drop. The quality of the printable is preserved. And it, zoom in, it zoom, zooms in even more than in GoodNotes, than in Keynote, I'm sorry. That way you can type on the, or you can write on the printable. And the only difference is when you insert it like this, this printable won't be linked to the hyperlinks of the planner. For example, if I go to January, and remember how we added a printable in the first line. When I click on it, it takes me to the printable. The same with the other pages. If I click on the next page, it takes me to it. But for the one that we inserted in between the pages, you have to actually scroll or click on the box at the top to find that printable or that page. All right, I hope this video was helpful and I hope you learned how to use the printables from my shop or my blog in a different way in your planner. If you have any questions, please let me know. My comment section is always open and I love hearing your ideas or reading your ideas actually. Um, just remember that you can go to my shop. It's a shop that life is messy and brilliant .com. There I have editable digital planners that you can use. I also have a couple of digital stickers. These ones are editable. I also sell all my blog templates from my hand lettering worksheets, my monthly and weekly spreads and my tracker templates. Um, make sure to check them out. I hope you have a great day and I can't wait to see you on my next video.